one more big idea that you need. And that is that almost never, very rarely, do we have a single sheet of charge. Typically what we have is two sheets, one positive and one negative. And the way we create that is we usually take two metal sheets and we hook them to a battery. And when we hook them to a battery, that battery takes electrons from one of those plates and puts it on the other. And then it takes another electron and puts it over there. So for every electron that I end up with on this plate, it leaves a positive proton behind on the other plate. And so I end up with a negative surface charge here and a positive surface charge there that are the same size. Well, what does that look like? That's the more common situation. If I use superposition, I'm going to have at that x a contribution due to the positive source, the positive plate. Remember, this comes out forever. And I'm going to have a contribution due to the negative plate. Now folks, notice that these are the same size even though the X is closer to the green sheet than the purple sheet. Distance doesn't matter. Okay? Now it doesn't matter whether I do it at this location or that location, I get the same size contribution from the uh, positive sheet and the negative sheet, and everywhere between those two sheets I get the same total electric field. Now if I look outside the sheets, I have a contribution due to the positive sheet that's away from the positive and towards the negative. Again, distance doesn't matter, so these two are the same size and cancel. Okay? Now the question is, how big is that electric field? If I think of the contributions, each of those contributions is given by this formula for the single sheet. Now if I take this combination, sigma over epsilon naught, and I rename it apple pie. Okay, that combination is apple pie. When I add those together, I have half an apple pie, half an apple pie plus half an apple pie. What does that give me? A whole apple pie. Are you hungry? Yes. I am. Okay. Now, that's the formula that we use more often. It's the field due to two sheets But it's not just any two sheets. It's got to be a plus sigma and a minus sigma where these are the same size. And that's going to be sigma over epsilon naught. And I only use the formula to find the strength. The field is away from a positive towards a negative. Now, I would represent that field like this. Between the plates, I have field lines that are parallel meaning I have the same size field here, as here, as here, as here. And outside the sheets, I have no electric field. I represent that with no field lines. Okay? Now this starts to look very, very similar to where we've been before. If you turn that upside down, it looks like the gravitational field in this room. Everywhere the same size, everywhere pointing the same direction. We'll build off of that the rest of the week. We're done.